Hello and welcome everybody to another Nintendo E3 2014 gameplay preview. Today we have Bayonetta 2, which is a game that still surprises me today, is going to become a Nintendo exclusive. If you haven't played the first Bayonetta, it's all about heavy combo oriented action and it's all about making quick dodges, changing your weapons constantly and using your witch powers to overcome a bunch of different crazy European fantasy themed foes. So right away, I do want to let you guys know, Bayonetta 2 is a very adult game. It's very sexual, it's very violent. If that's not your bag, I suggest you get out now. That being said, uh, I am very excited to see Nintendo publish a game like this. I enjoyed the first Bayonetta a lot. This usually isn't the type of game that Nintendo backs, and I'm just excited Bayonetta 2 will be made in some capacity. Now, I did decide to skip the cutscenes because one, uh, it might ruin the story for those of you guys who are interested, and two, there wasn't any sound at this booth. There's blaring music coming all around from different parts of E3, and so you don't really get that kind of sound. That's why I just threw together the soundtrack from the first game, just to give you guys something other than my voice. Here we go. So as you saw, when you make a quick dodge, you enter what's called Witch Time, which slows the world around you, allows you to get extra hits in. So it encourages risky combat without being crazy, and it's a lot of fun. Now, the lip icon on your enemies is a spot that you can hit to deal extra damage. So you're trying to focus on specific body parts, and you can also perform what's called Torture Attacks to finish off some of your enemies by creating just these horrible traps out of thin air. Now, Bayonetta is a witch, and her special ability is her hair, as gross as that sounds. Her whole clothing is hair, and so she removes her clothing as she attacks. Like I said, it's a very sexualized game, but it's very fun, very stylized, and if it sounds like your bag, um, Nintendo is the one now backing this. It's surprising, but it is so entertaining. Right off the bat, you can see uh, you're constantly changing to several different kinds of weapons to create a bigger combo. You've got range, you've got guns, you've got melee. You can pull out uh, demons out of a portal, use your hair as like a giant fist out of a portal. There are a lot of things you can do, and there's also a new gameplay mechanic in this game that I'm about to activate. It's called Umbral Climax. What it does is it allows you to create giant attacks, just summoning huge demons and hair monsters outside of these portals to deal extra damage every time you fill up your meter. Now, I'm not playing that especially well. It takes a little while to get into these kind of games when you're playing non-stop Nintendo platformers, but there we go. Uh, mission accomplished. Now, I don't think it was an especially great job, but you can see uh, it's just, it's a high octane, fast paced action game and there really isn't anything like it with the stylish dodging, the slow motion, the multiple combo attacks, and just an awesome European themed aesthetic. There's crazy gothic monsters. Look at this. It's, it's weird. It's a play on the demons and angels setting, except you aren't necessarily the bad guy. Uh, you are the demon side of things, um, or dark witch, whatever. Um, but you aren't necessarily bad. It gets interesting. But just look at this guy. He has no head and his face is in his sword. Uh, absolutely grotesque, but in a strangely appealing way. So you break away armor to create those lip spots. You can deal extra damage. And with the Umbral Climax, you can even lift a boss that's something like five times taller than you into the air and combo them in the air. So that is a really cool new mechanic and it makes fighting some of these huge monsters more like a one-on-one. -on -one. So there's his head. Ooh, gross. Ugh, go away. So here's another Umbran Climax, dealing maximum damage. And we're getting so, so close. Lift him in the air. He's down for the stun. And the more you deal damage to those lip spot areas, the more you will push your boss to their defeat. Now, like I said, uh, Bayonetta is quite a big fan of removing her hair for some extremely violent attacks. <laughs> oh, it's, it's grotesque, but I don't know. There's, there's something about it. It's unique. There's not a game that's quite as stylish as Bayonetta, and I am very happy to see it coming to a Nintendo platform. Now, unfortunately, as you guys can see, there is a big glare that shows up at this point in my preview. 
Uh, one person who was using one of those really bright camera lights showed up. I don't know if they were capturing off of my screen or just one that was near me, but they've got one and then another one came later, so it does kind of ruin the way that a lot of this looks. So I decided to, after this, just close off my recording. I wasn't going to stop my recording and make them stop theirs. Now, if you did enjoy the first Bayonetta, you're going to love Bayonetta 2. They've added so many new combo options, making things even easier to string together. And there's bigger, grosser bosses. Unfortunately, I couldn't record the last one because of the lights. But I am in a weird spot. Normally, I'd say if you haven't played the first game, check it out before the second. But we're actually going to be supplied with a copy of Bayonetta 1 with Bayonetta 2 for the Wii U. What it is, is you'll get a downloadable copy of the game. It's still gonna run in HD, 60 frames per second, 1080p, so it's still gonna be the same great Bayonetta game that you knew and loved. It's also gonna come with some Nintendo exclusive extras. So, I would say, hey, check out the first game if you wanna see if you'd like the second, but this is a weird scenario where you get both at once. That's all for this Bayonetta 2 preview, but if you enjoyed it, you can click that subscribe button right above to get alerts right when my new videos are coming out, and I've got a bunch more gameplay previews for Nintendo E3 games coming soon. See you then.